PvP is coming to Diablo Immortal. I'm not talking about speculation. I'm not talking about data mining. I'm talking about news that came from the Chinese blog post yesterday. I didn't get to look at this until today. Completely missed it yesterday. Plus, I have something that has changed from the patch notes from yesterday. So we're going to talk about all that right here this morning. So what's important is right here. And what I can do for you guys is we can make this even a little bit more clear. Here we go. Thank you, all adventurers, for your company along the way. Are you still having fun in the big version of Shadow of the Moon Devourer? We're also in full swing to produce a new large version on March 30th. We're talking about 20, 23 days from now when a series of new PvP and PvE gameplay will be launched, waiting for the review of all adventures. The following... Our experience optimizations based on feedback from adventurers hoping to take your adventures in sanctuary more comfortable. Well, obviously this is translated from Chinese, so it gets a little weird sounding, but PVP and PVE, that is a solid translation, which means we're getting some type of, okay, PVE, cool. We, we got a ton of that, but new PVP, because all we have right now are shadows versus immortals when they face off, and of course, battlegrounds which in my opinion and many's opinion don't like it either it being for the game mode or it being because of the whole discrepancy in power and how all that stuff looks so this is really exciting if you ask me and um i'm just curious and can't wait to get my hands on it to see what this pvp is actually going to look like now we're gonna have to wait until the 30th so uh, a little bit a little bit away from here but uh knowing that that's on the horizon crossing our fingers that it's not a pay to win experience that it actually takes into account players skill either via a really solid matchmaking system or through some type of a gearless matchmaking where you could go in and battle without having any types of gear that's going to be ideal but there was another change that i mentioned as well and that comes from the patch notes from the american version of blizzard and if we scroll through I really highlighted a certain feature yesterday in the patch notes. And if you're noticing right now, that certain feature is gone. It was probably the biggest part of these patch notes. And uh, besides, of course, bringing back the uh, fractured plane, the helmets. Remember we talked about that yesterday, that you're going to be able to go in gearless without your helmet. Now, do recall it said on certain pieces of cosmetics that you wouldn't be able, that you would be able to remove your helmet so you could actually show the gear. So you could show your, your face, your cosmetic makeup that you put together, right? But it was only on certain pieces of cosmetics, which could be fine, could be not fine. Uh, I don't know if it's because of a coding reason. I don't know if... Maybe certain cosmetics that were already made don't have the ability to put the helmet, to take the helmet off. Or if it's that they're going to make you buy a certain cosmetic that has a feature where you can remove the helmet, which would mean that that is a feature you could only experience if you're willing to spend money inside of the game. I don't know. We're not going to be able to tell, but they were saying that they were having some bugs with it and that they needed to hash it all out and that we'll be getting it in patch, patch 2.0, I believe it was. Now we're at 1.7.5. This very well could also be coming on the 30th when we're talking about the PvP coming to the game. But I mean, this video really right here is to bring you that really great news that PvP has been confirmed. I mean, that is, in my opinion, the best news that we've gotten since the game launch, a new version of PvP. Now, this could totally burn. This could totally flop, and that would really stink, but we'll have to see if they take in any of the recommendations from myself, other content creators, as well as more importantly, the community, because really we are just a voice of the community. And of course we have our own opinions as well, but I'm excited for it. The thought of something that I've been asking for since before the game even launched will, uh, will be awesome. I'm really curious to see how they implement it. I hope it's not just another version of an event pops up and then you could attend the event and fight for a legendary piece of gear uh, that was a little bit lame and not m frequent enough. We're looking for something that we can do whenever we want, dive on into it and uh, really just enjoy that type of a game mode and maybe even make it the majority of our gameplay inside of the game. Time will tell. Hopefully it's not just a short time event and hopefully it is a brand new feature inside of the game. We will find out. And if it is a limited time event, 
as is the fractured plane we need to dive on in and support that and play the heck out of it so that blizzard says hmm if we should keep this in the game all the time let me know what you guys think i'm excited i'll see you guys later